Got a new batch of exam question walkthrough videos. So this topic is equilibrium. I'll just quickly explain the code. So if there's an A after the number, like there is in this one, it's going to have a more qualitative approach. So application of Le Chatelier's principle. There might be a sort of basic KC calculation on, but nothing more than that. If there's a B after the number, it's going to take a far more um, quantitative approach. So KC calculations, KP calculations, and maybe explain an equilibrium shift in terms of the equilibrium constant. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So we've got to write the expression for KC for this equilibrium. So remember, KC is the equilibrium concentration of the products over the reactants. But remember, if there's a number balancing um, a, a substance, it needs to become a power. So there it is there. Just remember the terms multiply each other. So we don't want to see any plus signs between these concentration brackets. And remember, it's square brackets for concentration. Part B now, so we've got to calculate the equilibrium concentration of methanol, so we need to isolate this term here. So the KC expression rearranges to this, so we'll just put the numbers in now, and that's given us an equilibrium concentration for the methanol of 1.40. Next part of B, so we've got to talk about the significance of this 15.4 value for KC. So just remember where KC comes from, it's a measure of the equilibrium concentration of the products, two reactants so the fact that it's greater than one means this equilibrium must be over to the right hand side or on the product side. Part C, two reasons why lowering the temperature would be beneficial to the environment so I'd go for something like these so less fossil fuel used or less energy used and there's going to be a reduction in carbon dioxide emissions. Part D now so it's about nickel and gallium they're both in period four which block of the periodic table does nickel belong to? Well, it's in that transition metal section, so it's in block D. Gallium's got 31 electrons, so the electron configuration is that, and the 4S and 3D could be the other way around if you wanted to. And finally for part E, we've got to identify element A. It's in period 3 of the periodic table, so we're going to use the ionisation energies, the successive ionisation energies, to see what group it's in. So we're looking for where the first big jump up or increase in ionization energy is. So there it is there between the fourth and the fifth ionization energy. So these electrons here must all be in the outer shell. So it's in group four. So it's silicon. And the explanation I'd give is there's a big increase in ionization energy between the fourth and the fifth. That means the fifth electron must be in a shell closer to the nucleus.